sincere Naquari. Okay, family. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm setting up a project um, in Logic 10 for the mastering of um, my album, Instrumental Chronicles, Ferguson, Missouri, uh, which will be released January 16th, uh, 2017. So, what you want to do uh, when you're mastering like a complete album, I know we don't really listen to music that way anymore, any longer, but uh, it, it is still a standard uh, to put your music out in an album format. Uh, when you're, you know, mixing, when you're mastering and mixing the final project uh, for consumption. So um, when you're doing an album, you want your records to have a certain uh, level. Like you don't want one song way louder than the other and one song way lower than the other. Of course, you want dynamics, meaning you're going to have some highs and lows but the dynamics are not far apart. So one way to do that is after you have mixed your, your record, after you have mastered your record, you want to throw them all in together uh, in a project like this that you're seeing. You see, I got three records here. I have a total of 16 records, by the way. Um, and so you want to bring them in, and, and what I'm doing here, I am dragging in uh, my records, right? Let me show you a process. I got my pre-order right here. So you're getting a sneak preview of the, actually the name of the album, the record. So I'm right here, all right? This one is uh, Mr. Goodman. Um, And so... I go and find my master for Mr. Goodman because I only want to deal with my waveforms, right? And let me drag this over just so you guys can see it a little bit better. But as you see, I, here's Mr. Goodman, right? And I have one master, two mixes. And what that mean, tells me is that I mixed it one time, I needed to tweak it again, and I mixed it the second time, and I must have liked that, then I went into the mastering mode. And so um, what I'm going to do, I just like to drag rather than import. Bring that over here. And uh, line it up, okay? So I'm going to pause this for right now, and so I'm, I'm going to be doing this process of lining all of my records up, and um, I'll show you what I do f from that point. So uh, now I have all my um, records lined up here, um, and um, so I have like 16 records. And so what I want to do at this point, <clears throat> now these are all uh, mastered records. So what I want to do now is in my stereo out, I'm going to um, get a plug in that will monitor my levels. And um, in Logic 10, there's something I like called multimeter, uh, which is the stereo. I want the stereo out. And two family, if, if I if you see me doing something and I'm not showing or telling y'all what I'm doing, uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, looking at some of these videos, I noticed that I do that sometimes, but, uh, you know, sometimes 
I'm just doing things automatic and not realizing that, um, you know, I'm not telling the people what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, just give me a comment or inbox me, whatever, and um, I will explain. All right. So here's my meter. This is, <clears throat> you need some type of loud meter or that can measure loudness when you do this because that's just basically what I will be doing is the determining the loudness of each track in reference to all the tracks I'm uh, making sure it's a good um, a good um, a good level you want to be looking at uh, for clips little things that's popping over but for loudness you want to go with uh, what they call the RMS which is here um, on this one they had this is this is directly for loudness uh, this this um, meter here the LUFS I tend to um, I want my track to be hitting the records to be hitting just above uh, minus nine for loudness um, up in the low point eight something uh, that's that's what I like here so like for example, I have a uh, record here, which is one of my best records. I'm, I guess I'm going to let you guys hear a little bit of it. It features Shoney Boy and uh, Socorro. Shoney Boy is out of Atlanta. Uh, he's making some noise there. Uh, great artist. Check him out. Uh, now, the thing about this is that when you're in this stage, you can do some a little creating creative stuff here because there that clip there's a clip that I wanted to put on this record at the beginning which is Ivan Van Sotoma and I could I wasn't able to do it on the original track um being how we being how I work with the artists uh Shona Boy is in Atlanta I'm in Tallahassee and Shona Boy recorded in Atlanta and uh there was a mix up on the files and what have you. So anyway, uh, it was pretty much mastered up there and Shona Boy is dealing with some, some major engineers. Um, I'm talking about people who did records for Rihanna, Future, all that, you know. So it, it was phenomenal, man, working with Shona Boy. And, we, and I'm still working with him, somewhat limited. So let's check out um, the volume of this and let's see where we at. Sincere, the course. Spanish were defeating the Moors. A painting was done of the defeat, and there were black yeah, generals surrendering. Why were they surrendering if they were not in charge? John Little, looking still, looking for stamps. No job, still keep some yak in the sack. But he still let him smoke in the back. As long as he humble and he take out the trash. You see here, um, well, like I'm around about nine, right? So what I want to do is I want to go here and I want to boost, boost this song just a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a limiter. Right, because I'm also seeing it. You can see I, I got some peaks going on here too. All right, um, around two plus two. Now, some folks, now uh, let me say this I didn't master <laughs> this song, I did master the track, but I didn't master the vocals when, uh, when it was you know, it was set to me mastered pretty much. Some will master, depending on what your equipment, you got to know your equipment. By going in the red, red is not bad all the time. Um, you know, I wouldn't go over uh, plus three, though. But red is not bad all the time. You just got to, you know, know your equipment and know how it translates out when you um, bounce it out. Um, and, you know, uh, you, you could be fine. You just don't want to just, you know, the, a sound that's distorted. But I'm gonna handle uh, the clipping right here with this, with this, um, with this limiter, and I'm going 
and it's going to handle me boosting uh, my volume a little bit. All right. So uh, watch what I do. So limiter. So you see, up top here is my average, so I'm averaging about 8.6, which that's what I like. I got rid of the peaks, so we out zero right there, right? So, um, so that track is, is pretty much good, right? So that's all we needed to get that record straight. And what I'll do... Um, is I put it on solo. I got it here solo, right? Uh, I want to make sure I don't have the track highlighted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bounce this record out. I need to get my end right, my end piece right. Gonna bounce this record out. And another thing you you can do, what you want to do while you're in this phase is um, check your endings. How you want it? How do you want the record to end? Do you got too much space here? Do you want some space? So, because this is. This track is coming, Get On Up is track 13, then What's Next is coming, Long Time Running. So uh, you want to make sure, you know, your ending is right. So let's see what's going on here. So about right there is where I want that track to end, right? So let, let's make sure. Probably right there. I feel it right there. So I want to come in, cut that back, cut that stem back to there. And so... That way... My next track will flow right perfect when for my album, right? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I say, I'm gonna bounce this out. I just want to make sure it's not highlighted here. Bounce this record out. You're just gonna come up here, uh, bounce the project out. Now, typically on this. Uh, when I'm bouncing out, I'm just going to use 16-bit, 44 sample rate because that's just the standard rate for CDs, and um, it's a good rate to convert on MP3s. But in this instant, I am not going to dither, and the reason why I'm not going to dither is because these, these uh, records have already been mastered, and dithering, uh, it, it uh, from my understanding... It's like it compresses the sound down. Usually this is used for when you're from going from a higher bit rate to a lower bit rate. And I don't want nothing compressed. I don't want nothing changed or anything because these tracks have already been compressed. These tracks have already been dithered. So I just want to do no, no, no dithering. So I would recommend when you're in the mastering phase, do not dither. The only time you want to dither is when you are bouncing out your final master. In this phase, we're just looking, trying to do levels, uh, simply levels 
levels of tracks that I'm mastered. So we're gonna bounce it, all right? And so I have my, I just created my master uh, for this record. Now, okay, for this record. And so what I do is I go through each track and um, check this out, you know, do it. Uh, I'm going to show you right here. For example, I have uh, my first one is pretty much like the speech of Robert McCullen. He was the uh, state attorney that was handling uh, the grand jury hearing over... Uh, over Officer Wilson, you know, whether they need to indict. And pretty much this is just a speech, right? Standby, Arthur, as the prosecutor, Bob McCullough, is coming into the courtroom now. And so I would go and do the same thing. At approximately 11.45 for, a.m. For something like this, Ferguson Police Officer Darren Wilson, you know, uh, Northman's apartment complex, naked vocals, a you know, it's just going to be to the taste how loud you want that to be. So, I don't think I should have an issue with that. But what I'll do is I'll go through each each one of these tracks and go through the same process. Um, make sure they're around, you know, make sure they're around uh, the eight point figure on my loudness. Eight, eight point something, low eights. Make sure there's no peaks, no reds, and um, put it all together, and I'm ready. So, family, hopefully this helped you guys in some way on how to master your album. If you need help on mastering, like, I, as you know, I, I do do mastering. Um, I'm learning. I'm not the best, but I'm better than some, or, you know, I, I would say I know I'm better than a lot of them. Um but I, got, I still got a long ways to go. So uh, peace and love. Remember to like, sign up, subscribe to my channel, find me, go check out my webpage, find me on Twitter, find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, find me on YouTube, whatever, wherever you find me, man. Hook up with me, sign up, uh, subscribe uh, to my email list at sincereinacquire.com and, you know, You'll be to get the first dibs on my tutorials like this, as well as my beats and beat discounts. So, again, I'm signing off. Peace and love.